has been extremely uh, impactful. I started as a freshman, now I'm a senior, and through this journey I've met some incredible people of different backgrounds, and it's really uh, opened my eyes to how important it is to celebrate our differences and be part of a community that is different from me, um, because it, it's made me really see the world in a whole new way. Students who have been in STOP since middle school become our small group facilitators. Each year they have three session training to reinforce leadership skills and to review that year's program. I've been going to STOP for four years now and it has meant a lot to me. Uh, not only as a place to be, like obviously new friends from other towns, but uh, just in high school there's not a lot of places to talk about prejudice and to have a place to talk about it and discuss it in like a forum to like learn so much about it, it's really helpful and it's definitely going to prepare me for college when these situations are going to come up more often and I, hopefully I'm going to be prepared for it now. Uh, well, I've learned a great deal about prejudice, discrimination, and dealing with tough uh, situations in school in the STOP program. Uh, my favorite part has been discussions with really open-minded students and also facilitators. At each house of worship, we learn about the beliefs of that particular faith. In this way, we discover the similarities and differences of our faith and gain a deeper respect for each of our religious traditions. And I'm a senior uh, STOP facilitator. The um, major thing that STOP has told me, uh, or that has taught me, I think is um, it's like the value of being like a good community member. I think it's really easy for everyone to be caught up in their own little world and to be sort of infatuated with these small little issues that are issues, but we have to look at like these things that plague society, like prejudice, discrimination, and a lot of the issues that we address and stop. Um, and I think it's just really important that everyone has awareness of these issues, and it's really helped me to find not only not only to gain awareness of prejudice in our community, but also just other issues that affect people other than me. And I've felt I've been better able to help other people. By sharing items that are important to us and to our identity, we deepen our appreciation of one another. Um, Stop really helped me become a student activist in all the years that I've been participating. Um, I mean, really just learning to recognize an issue and stand up for it, and especially being with others that share the same goal. It's really, um, it's really taught me a lot about who I am. The program has taught me to recognize and combat hate and prejudice. After doing this program for six years, I feel as though I now have a toolkit filled with strategies that will enable me to do this work out in the real world. Through a variety of activities, including skits, videos, and small group discussions, Participants learn to identify and respond to stereotypes, prejudice, and discrimination when they see it. because it has taught me about the role prejudice plays in our society and it's given me an opportunity to teach others about prejudice as well. <laughs> Stuff has given me the words to stand up for others, which has just enabled me to help my friends and help strangers. And in such a polarized world that we have today, I think it's just such a useful skill. So I'm really grateful for that. So uh, the problem we identified was uh, discrimination 
against the LGBTQ community, and also just a general name calling and bullying uh, against peers and people that you know. Okay, and so some of our supports would be um, probably family because it was uh, like Melissa's friends were doing name calling, so friends would probably not be the best outlet. And then like a trusted adult, like a teacher or a guidance counselor or something. And then, so our three strategies were to be um, going to a guidance counselor or trusted adult, which is like one of the supports, um, confronting and educating her friends, or we also said like bullying, not bullying, but like intimidating them back. Yeah. So hopefully uh, our first strategy, can, or, uh, going to a guidance counselor or trusted adult, um, they would be able to offer better education and better support and could hopefully uh, show the other kids, you know, uh, a good way to deal with the issue. Being in the STOP program has really been an invaluable experience for me throughout high school. It's brought me to places like the Islamic Center in Leyland that I never would have been able to go to in any other program. And because of that, it's really opened my eyes and allowed me to talk to people both in my school and in, in other schools, just like around the Sudbury area, that I never would have talked to in other programs. So that has been really cool for me. Um, but one of the other things that I love about the STOP program is how I can make a difference on others. This is my third year as a facilitator now, and every group I've really, or every year I've really connected with my group, and especially the middle schoolers in my group. Um, and doing so in such a short period of time, I mean, we're only here for an hour and a half, seven times, but I've been able to make these connections, and that just speaks volumes to how much the program itself kind of brings people together. Um, and so I love the STOP program, and I would really recommend it to anyone who is considering anything like it in an awesome program. I have been in the STOP program for about 30 years, and it's been a wonderful experience.